to cure sometimes, to relieve often, and to comfort always. And I've added my last line, which is, uh, and lots of laughter in the process. Well, um, I've always thought of volunteering, and I think my skill set is limited. Okay, I'm not terribly good at um, um, playing the guitar, music, or entertaining, stuff like that. And um, it was during the time of SARS in 2003. I was working at a skin centre already, and um, all my hospital colleagues were all ensconced in their various uh, hospitals and not allowed to move around. And because we are an ambulatory centre, the evenings were free. So um, an opportunity came up to do a free clinic that was in Woodlands. And I thought, hey, I, I should do something. And I must do something. So, and that's how it started. In 2009, one of my senior colleagues at the Skin Centre uh, was retiring and he says, hey, I volunteer here at Villa Francis and also at the Dover Park Hospice. Uh, would you like to take over as dermatologist? I said, perfect opportunity because as the years have gone by, I've become a bit more specialised in my area. And that started since 2009, um, coming monthly on a Saturday morning uh, to see patients and sort out their skin problems. I used to do it alone. Thereafter, it got a bit lonely or I sort of got a bit slow. So I brought in my junior doctors, my registrars, my medical officers and medical students to as work as a team and also um, build the capacity for more volunteers. You see so many patients at a go and you try to remember them as best as you can with a name because they're just not a skin issue, they're the whole patient. Uh, and they remember you a lot more than you can remember them because I think as I get older, I do suffer from senior moments. I mean. so, um, and it's the time when they talk to you, says, hi doctor, how are you? And then they wave to you, they, they, they interact, they remember what you told them one month ago, which you barely remember what you, if you don't write it down, you can't remember. And, um, and, and they remember, yes, I remember, I owe you this, um, I did this, uh, my daughter says that, um, thank you for, for sorting out this. And, and, and those are the small moments that actually um, gives you a certain joy on, on the first Saturday of a month. I think you've heard it quoted many times that laughter is the best medicine. So I try to inject a bit of that into daily interactions, colleagues, staff, uh, uh, patients, patients' relatives. And um, sometimes we may not be able to do anything, but looking after the whole thing, after some laughter, you may forget um, any itch or pain or discomfort you may have. And it adds just a little bit, a bit of icing on the cake to the entire concert process.